Hello Aquarius and welcome to your September 2019 reading. Today we'll be reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising Signs and I'd also like to say before we start thank you very much for everyone who supported the channel by subscribing, liking and sharing. I really really appreciate it and that will keep the channel moving forward into the future and bringing more and more information through each month. So thank you very much for your support. Um, let's get into it, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, you actually have a month that is really quite lovely compared to a lot of the other signs that I've had to do reading that I did readings for. Okay, when I channeled into the energy. But Aquarius, you seem to have a good flow this month. But Aquarius, the theme of the month is you have a deep need for connection um, with intimacy. Okay, so you are craving to go on new levels or deeper levels of intimacy within yourself, self to others, others to self. And you are going to be taking care of business this month because we have that Virgo energy coming in. We were in Leo season. All the planets in Leo are now moving into Virgo. We had the Virgo new moon and the 30th of August. So now we're getting into Virgo and Virgo is taking care of business. Virgo likes practicality, reality, structure, planning, um, details, critiquing details, perfectionism, perfecting a plan, but we must not go too much into that. But I actually feel a lot of harmonious flow for you here. One of the things that will be coming to the forefront for you to help you connect to these deeper intimacy issues it's to do with your trust issues. So you will be, you will have tremendous insight this month, Aquarius, into your psychology or your subconscious belief systems with your trust issues because there's what's blocking this deeper intimacy, okay? You love having people come in, you pull people in on an intimate level or that you want the connection and then they come in and you push it away. So this is something you're going to get to the bottom of this month, Aquarius, okay, and a bit of a breakthrough with it. So do your work, okay, get to the bottom of these issues and you will really, you'll have some profound illumination around these issues of trust and also you're going to have um, revelation or epiphanies or um, insight, downloads, we call them, uh, different perspectives of um, <clears throat> your own behavior with boundaries. Okay, so it's not so much about setting boundaries, although for some of you, maybe that's needed, but how you behave with your boundaries. Okay, so let me give you a little example. And this isn't for all Aquarius, but some Aquarians will find that this comes up. Sometimes we can be moving the boundary fence all the time. So people don't know, and, and sometimes the boundary fence is really close, coming close, and then it's out here, and then it's in here, and then it's out there. So you are going to get to the bottom of this. See, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. There you go. Sorry, you've got a change coming and it's for the better. It will bring you some really great, profound, new, revolutionary ways to process and your intimacy with yourself, with others. I can see here that you have the Sun and Mercury. So Mercury's communication, Sun's the energy. Okay, the um, brings a lot of energy and a lot of communication. And for you, you will be able to go in and communicate. Communication is processing as well. So you'll be able to process and have the communication with yourself, self, self to others, others to self this month to, to, get, to get to the bottom of it and work on those trust issues. 
Okay, so the other thing that's coming in, which is really good for you, Aquarius, is um, you're going to have a look at your money. Money's been in and out and in and out. And you haven't really been sure about your money, but this month or by the end of the month, it's actually better than you thought. And there may even be some extra money or a bonus or money coming your way or job or, you know, a, 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 a pay rise or whatever it is, you actually going to realize that you've got more money now than you thought. And so you've got this need for a vacation and you need to take a vacation, Aquarius, if you haven't recently or you feel you need to get away. If you haven't got the money at the moment, I think... The, the moment you feel you want to go on a vacation, it most probably for a lot of you will turn up somehow because this vacation and this money and this, it's like this little bonus and they're like, here's a gift. Yeah, go on a little vacation. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It's a little bonus. Whatever a vacation is for you, okay? So just keep that in mind. But your self-belief, your self-confidence, um, Aquarius, is at an all-time high, okay? Any challenges, you seem to be able to solve them and can handle them this month. So that is fantastic. Even around the Pisces full moon, around the 14th. Now, you, for your sign, you have Pluto, sextile the moon, trine the sun, it's bringing such a positive energy flow. Keep in mind, though, for other signs and other charts of people, there's a lot of Neptune, Jupiter energy. And what's going on there for other people? Foggy thinking, forgetfulness, um, um, exaggeration, um, manipulation, lying, um, Neptune, Jupiter and Neptune are the troublemakers. They're making stories seem bigger and better than they are. They're telling tall stories. They're exaggerating. And that energy is out there around you, okay? Um, and for you in particular, it is around you. Um, so you'll be, be aware Okay, so I have a saying, you know, actions speak louder than words, facts, show me the facts, um, because it is going to, something sound wonderful and big and great. And it's all what we call Neptune's like being drunk or being high, high on life. Okay, so um, people may be um, over exaggerating their abilities and capabilities. Just be aware of it. Bring in that. I, th I believe that beautiful Virgo um, energy is coming in, keeping us grounded, keeping us practical. You know, don't forget to, to do that. Okay, and take hold of that energy. Um, because Aquarius can be a bit out there too at times. So don't get caught up in the hype um, because you are Aquarian, you are out there in the ethers anyway, and Neptune's putting a beautiful little spell across everybody, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, but we have Pluto that will come in and bring a laser through all the untruths, okay? The lies, the manipulations. Pluto is transformation, but it, it, it cuts to the, it lasers through anything. It can see through anything. That's why it transforms it, okay? So we do have that coming in. Um, yeah, so you've got a really good Pisces full moon, lots of positive energy flow. Don't get caught up in the Neptune hoo-ha stories energy of other people um, because your energy is really good. Um, lots of illusion and delusion is the word around that full moon, but not so much for you guys. Keep grounded, okay? Um, you know, for you in particular, stay away from deception and over-promising, Okay. Um, pay attention because people are going to be forgetful. It's not on purpose. Neptune, we're forgetful. We're foggy-headed. So whether it's you or people you're working with, 
it, it is going on. Okay, it's very hard. It, it's a spell. It's a fog. It's a cloud that's on our heads. Nobody can see any truth there um, until Pluto comes in and Saturn comes in. Um, and around that full moon, you have Mercury, Libra, and Venus. So that is such a harmonious energy flow. Libra is all about relationships, balance, harmony, peace, being peaceful. Venus, the goddess of love. Um, Mercury, communication. So you've got a lot going on there with all of that. With relate, That's why you're wanting this deep intimacy, this deep connection with your relationships. Okay, it's because you've got Mercury, Libra, and Venus on a full moon, Pisces full moon. So um, you want to go there. You want to go on other levels and other deep, intimate levels. Okay, so that is lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, and I can kind of hear you saying, where do I want to go? Where do I want to travel? Where I want to get away. I want to do something. So you are this fun and exciting times coming in. You're expanding. Um, and a lot of you with this expanding and opening up and this deep connection. See, when we deeply connect, with our intimacy of ourselves, then we've got deeper intimacy with others. But this deeper intimacy, um, you might connect to something that you have always wanted to do or a skill or a career or a purpose or a life's journey, you know, something you wanted to do this, this lifetime. And you may around this time feel like you want to upgrade some skills. A lot of you will be doing that, looking for that. And then from the 14th, we move through. We've got all of the Neptune, um, Jupiter energy, which is just crazy energy. Um, but for you, interestingly enough, there's a very mystical spiritual energy around that full moon for you. That's why I think you're connecting deeper into you and intimacy and connecting and going other levels. Um, and you want to expand and travel and upgrade your skills and um, a new lease on life. And then, um, so it's really nice for you around the full moon. And I can't say that for many other signs. So you've got a bit of a bonus there this month. Um, Aquarian, and then the 18th, we have Saturn. Now, Saturn's moving forward. Um, Saturn's the master, he brings in reality and truth and fact. It is going to hit everybody. It's moving forward with business, um, it's supporting the Virgo energy. It's let's get down to business, let's put fact, um, practicality, and mastery in it. And I'll also note on the 18th that Saturn moves direct into Capricorn. So what that means is, if you imagine Saturn as the master, see, you were here to learn something or go through something or go on a certain journey or path, okay, or soul um, journey. And we've been on it and Saturn's long and slow and he makes you get it right and master it and complete it, okay? And it keeps you in truth and reality and fact. He's the hard taskmaster. And Saturn moving into Capricorn is leaving us on the 18th of September. And we will never experience that energy again this lifetime. So the ship is sailing. So Saturn, Capricorn, with Virgo backing up, is wherever you've completed or mastered something within yourself, let's use, for example, trust issues, deeper intimacy, a journey you've been on. There's a mastery here for people, if they've done their work, of course, um, not for everybody. And Capricorn and, and Saturn are standing there and you're about to go on a new journey or a new path or a boat ride or a get on a ship, let's say. And... They're the captain and the first captain, and they're going to come down on the dock and say to you, look at your itinerary, look at what you're taking on your journey, where you're heading on your new journey, because the old one's mastered. And they're going to say, you don't need that. You're not taking that with you. That's not necessary for where you're going. You won't need that where you're going. 
And whether that's people, places, situations, belief systems, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, it's, it's time. You're on the airplane. You are on the, the boat ramp. You are on the new path. And Saturn Capricorn are going to come in and say, mm -mm, if this isn't an alignment, if this isn't needed, if this is not what you need anymore, there is a massive ending. That's what we've all been feeling through the eclipse season and then through all the 8-8 the eight, eight lines gate. We had the Leo energy. We had the Aquarian full moon. It's all about expansion, going beyond the 8-8, eight, eight, more illumination, more healing, bringing through more light. It's all about expansion, expansion, expansion to complete and end a cycle. Okay, so a lot of us are hitting that. Everybody's going through it. So it is a major thing happening. So really think about that and what that is for you and what you would like to complete and master in that cycle. And anything that's not going on that journey with you, Saturn and Capricorn in Virgo backing it up will be saying, no way, you are not going to talk me into it. You're not going to talk me around it. You are not going to get take this on this trip. So it's like being at the airport and they tell you your bag's too heavy, take it out or you're not taking that with you. So wherever that is in your chart, whatever hits you, whatever issue that is for you, or many issues or a journey you've been on or a soul contract or something like that well that's what's going on okay so be mindful of that about the um but you know saturn moves everything forward okay and you know at the end of a saturn cycle we get rewards you get a little medal you get a little reward for do it for mastering the job okay now the other amazing thing is 2020, the year 2020, is a new 30-year cycle for Aquarius. Now, what does that mean? It means you've got a new meaning in life or for life. So there's this, that Saturn, Capricorn, moving forward, completion. You know, just what I spoke about, you Aquarius and this is why you've got that energy and flow going on as well new meaning of life new de definition of, of who you are and you've got Jupiter following that up in Aquarius bringing a whole new 12 year cycle with Jupiter the giver of gifts and love expansion when he's not with Neptune he's okay <laughs> Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, is the biggest planet. Okay, he brings good things, gifts, luck, all of the rest of it, expansion. Okay, uh, new, new beginnings, um, rewards, um, and when he's on his own he'll be in Aquarius, he'll be fine. <laughs> When he's with Neptune, that's a no-no. Um, he, he exaggerates Neptune's stories. Okay, because he expands them and makes them bigger. Okay, so you've got this Jupiter. Um, and then we have around the 23rd of this month, we have the equinox. It's a power day. There's a shift in energy. It is a powerful energy day. It's a great day to set intentions, new begin, you know, plant seeds. Um, and also it's we're going to get some downloads, okay? And what are downloads? Okay, insights, epiphanies, new perspectives, new, you know, all of a sudden epiphanies, light bulb moments. That's what's going to be going on for you around the 23rd. Okay, what else have we got here going on for you? So you'll be thinking a lot about um, your spirituality and your future and all of that sort of thing, particularly around the Libra, Libra and New Moon that comes in um, around the 28th at the end of the month. Okay, so new cycle for you, future visions, okay? And with relationships, this is why you need to get the intimacy thing sorted and your boundaries because it's coming in and you've got... Uranus, after, around the Libra new moon, the 28th, 
We've got Uranus coming in around that time and this is necessary for you because Uranus comes in and shows you a different way, a new way. It says, how about this? How about you look at it like this? How about you do it a different way? Okay, so Uranus is, is expansion really. Okay, so that's really good and it's good for you. You're going to bring in, it's going to bring in a lot of awareness, a lot of self-awareness, confidence, self-belief. We've got um, Venus sextile Jupiter um, as well around that time. So new relationships could come your way, Aquarius, for those who are single um, or looking or wanting. Um, and a wish may be coming true there for you with relationships. So this is why I think you've got to get this trust and mastery and boundaries um, and within the deeper intimacy and deeper intimate connections for you because you know that Libra's um, uh, all about relationships and balance and harmony and peace and and win win and give give and and loves relationships loves being in relationships. You've got Venus sextile Jupiter, so new relationships. Uranus coming in, giving you new perceptions, new ideas, new ways. Um, your confidence is through the, the roof and you're getting a lot done this month. Even though you may be going on a vacation or a range of you are getting a lot done this month. And I think that's thanks to Virgos and Saturn and Pluto. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so get ready to go on an adventure um, physically. Maybe for some of you it's going to be a trip or a holiday or a vacay. Um, or I think you're going to go on an adventure even within yourself, communicating better with yourself, getting in a deeper connection with you, who you are, deeper intimacy and those connections, okay? And no more Aquarius of wanting the connection, pulling the people in and then pushing them away. You have to find a balance there or a boundary, okay? Um, we can't keep moving the boundary fence around. It creates confusion, okay? Um, yep, the Libra New Moon, there's a win-win for you, peace. You'll be very busy this month, next month in October. So that's why I think the vacation might be or some time. If you can't go on a vacation, have some time out, have some downtime. Because your energy is good. And when your energy is good and you've got good energy flow going on this month and you're cutting through with Pluto and seeing the clear and the reality and the truth and seeing through it all, you know, to me, that's a good time to be meditating Um uh, sitting, manifesting, um, co-creating, um, especially when your energy's up and you're seeing, cutting through any fog, any confusion, any misleading information. So um, it's really good. But the main theme of the month is you looking at how you're letting people in and then pulling back um, and that deep, you want that deep need, you want that need, you've got that deep need for more inter intimacy and connection within that, on um, within yourselves, okay? Um, and therefore with other people, once we've got it with ourselves then we have it with other people, okay? So, um, and you'll be looking at your behavior with boundaries, okay? So, what have the cards got for Aquarius this month? So, again, you are looking, Aquarius, you have a need for deep intimacy, deep connection. That will bring balance into your life. If you look at this card, their, their minds meet, their eyes meet, their minds meet, their hearts meet, their souls meet, they're offering each other the same cup, they are balanced, they're committed, it's equal. But they're connecting very intimately with each other. They trust each other. That's they, they trust each other. Okay? 
and there is a new idea for you here and you will start putting in the practical steps to to look at that okay rather than being up in all that fantasy energy and anywhere you've been restricting yourself um So anywhere you've had restriction or, you know, weren't looking at your issues or you or how you're doing things or, you know, you felt blocked in that maybe or didn't know how to or you weren't ready to, you're going to come through it. This is birth. This is like giving birth, pregnancy, a new birth, a new you. And, and you know what? That 2020 is about that for you, a new you. You have a new 30-year cycle. Now, that's a, a new birth, okay? So coming in for 2020. So see, moving forward with confidence, six is also, I, I represent that as relationships, okay? Um, and you, by the end of the month, all this is happening, and then we've got that beautiful Libran energy coming in, and I think you've worked on your intimacy and deeper connections with yourself and others, and then you're ready, Aquarius. You're ready for the new journey. You know there's a cup missing. Even though all these other cups are here, you are ready. You know there's more or a deeper level, another level to go another path to go down okay and um also this is you know this to me is you going getting ready to go off in your new cycle that's coming up the new you so what else does spirit have to say for aquarius you've got oh you've got offers coming in money coming in bonuses someone's giving to you whether it's the universe or you found you've got more money than you thought or there's a job offer or someone's going to be offering you some abundance this month Aquarius and I can see you wanting to go inward this Queen's not up in her head analyzing anything she's sitting on water she's using her intuition and her emotions to deeply connect within herself she's not in her head at all there's an offer coming in i feel like for some aquarians you've got the emperor here on this restriction so for some of you someone or something in the past like the emperor he rules he has the last say the final say you know i think some of you will be um breaking away from this or getting away from this or this has been holding you back in the past and you're not going to let it now but also I think too here is what I was more going to um, for a lot of you see that's for one small group for another group um, wherever you've been too stuck in your ways Aquarius in your beliefs how you do things you know, I think you've, you've been a bit of the emperor, ruling with an iron fist, not changing your ways, okay? You might have listened to everyone, but you were really quite going to do what you wanted to do anyway. So anywhere and everywhere you've been restricting yourself and not allowing yourself to change and bring in the new, see, and then you've got new beginnings, so you're moving away from that. I like that. That's that's actually good. You've got clear focus. There's Pluto, the queen. She's charged, focused, cut through. She's organized everything. She's got her planning done. She is charging her cavalry forward to battle. And, and look at the confidence behind her there. And that's six relationships. And she's all um, the card beside her. And she has planned. She just didn't rally up her troops and say, we're going there to fight. She, everyone, she made a strategic plan. She worked. She, 
She, um, um, all the troops know what they're doing. And now she's super focused. She, you know, she's, she's confident and moving forward. Okay, so you're going to be moving away from anywhere and everywhere you were deceiving yourself and vice versa. Okay, um, you're going to be making some decisions about your destiny, fate, and anywhere you've been illusional or had illusion or delusion or self-sabotage or blocking this intimacy coming in for you because it's the start of the card, the intimacy, the connection, anywhere you've been self-sabotaging or in illusion or delusion, um, with all that, you're ready. You are ready to move forward and transform Aquarius. So, you know, this is a great month for you, really. And considering all the other um, Neptune and um, the full moon in Pisces, and we've got... Um, and then at the end of month, we've got more sort of Jupiter squaring Neptune energy. So for a lot of signs, you're kind of you're kind of not. It's around you. It is there. You could get pulled into it, but it's kind of like your energy, your flow, your self confidence is pretty up there. So you'll you'll miss it. I think you'll yeah. I'm liking it. And you know. Even if we're working on a spiritual aspect of ourselves or a new way of life or a new way for us, you know, Virgo will help you. Virgo will come in and get the business side done, help the practicalities, put it into action. Virgo says, let's get it done. You got Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, Saturn and Capricorn, and Pluto. You know, they're all saying, okay, we're getting real here. It's no more, no more. Illusion, delusion, no more um, denial. There's some, there'll be some harsh realities for you in this, but it, it's brilliant. It brings you back your confidence. Look at the confidence it's going to bring you. You're back and the page with young and young energy so you might feel uplifted and it's going to help you move forward again six relationships you need to move forward in how you do relationships that's your big awakening this month Aquarius and I just want to ask spirit let's see what's blocking or anything that they need to know for Aquarius for September that may be blocking or challenging them this month let's have a little look see here not much coming out that's good flow that's probably because you've got your good flow going on <laughs> so there you go Aquarius going with the flow there you go Aquarian okay going with the flow that's what you need to do, okay? Uh, oh, and look what can this is what's blocked or challenging you, this deep intimacy and connection with someone who's meeting you on all levels. It's all balanced, harmonious. You want to go this other level, okay? Within yourself, within your spiritual self, a completion of a cycle, okay, is coming up. But also you'll get that with others and relationships, and look at this, okay? You are independent. You, you create your own abundance. Um, nine's completion. You're back in control. So again, even your challenging cards and your block cards are quite positive. Look, new horizons. There's your vacation or expansion of um, what you thought or what you knew or you want to expand your living or travel or something like that. You are going inward. You, the, all of this intimacy stuff is about you going inward, okay? It's inward. It's your psychology. Not other people's psychology, your psychology. Only you know the answers to those. And then you've, you've got your new um, birth of you. This is not death and rebirth, but a birth like pregnancy, a birth of a new you, okay? Um, strength card, yeah, wow. 
you were going to go through this anyway. Like even if you didn't want to and you thought everything was wonderful and I'm fine and I connect fine and I'm intimate and with myself and others and I have great connections, something very divine, fated, divine timing, um, universal. And, you know, it could be, it, and it's getting you ready to bring this into you and something very fated. That's why I like your energy. And it's coming in fast. Get it done. Yep. Again, more intimacy, more connection. Look at how they're looking at each other. You're back in control, Aquarius. You've got the reins. You're moving past some past. Go inward. Okay, the hermit's inward. And you are moving, healing, working out, going deep in within yourself and healing a past hurt, past pain, past suffering. It's all past and you will move on from something that was painful. See, the birth and again, we've got that card back. So there you go. And you'll be moving away from anywhere and everywhere that you have to, someone has deceived you and caused trust issues or you've deceived you or you don't have trust issues with you, by the end of the month, you will have this sorted. So well done to you, Aquarius. It is a big month. There's a lot going on, but you know, your energy is great. You've got the flow going on and keep in that. Okay, but stay grounded and practical and be mindful that the energy around you of others and other signs and other planets are going on is a little bit um, on the illusion, delusion, expand that and yeah, side. So just be, just be wary of that, okay? And bring some of that Virgo practicality energy in there when we've got the Saturn. So you'll end up getting the real harsh realities and the truth and also um, getting you ready for your next 30 years in 2020 and you've got Jupiter following in Aquarius in a whole new cycle for 12 years within that so that's fabulous you have definitely got a new definition of life a new meaning for life or of life or what you want from life by 2020 and your birthday is not far away Aquarius we are creeping around very quickly so Thank you for listening and we will speak next month. Thank you. Bye.